Hi science friends, it's Miss Erin back with another video for this week. So I thought it'd be really good to talk about something that can give us some hope during times of being home and maybe some rain during our days, which is raining at my house today. And one of the things that I really like to enjoy and look at are rainbows. So rainbows are really cool, made up of light and water that bend the light and give us a beautiful show. So you have to think about things that along with sunshine have a little rain to make a happy thing happen. So before we get into our lesson, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and start an experiment that can work while we're in the lesson. So what you need to do this experiment is a clear cup, a coffee filter, and a like a Sharpie or a um, marker. Um, I'm going to use black because it's the only color that I have right now at home, but I have done it in other colors like green, and we'll get into why green is so cool, but I can see two other colors here with the green. So what you do, and I'm going to put this down so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to want to take your coffee filter and you're going to want to draw a line around the middle. You can make it as thick or thin. I'm going to use the thick end of this marker and make a nice thick line around. Again, using your other colors like orange, green, and violet is really great. And you'll understand why. And you can do another ring if you want. I'm going to use this other ring. My marker may be running out. So I brought a backup, which I'm going to grab a newer one. And I'm going to continue to color that ring. So I made a ring on my coffee filter. So then I'm going to take my little cup and I'm going to add just a splash of water in the bottom. Just enough to cover the bottom of the cup, the very bottom. Can you see how much water? It's just about that much. So I'm going to take my coffee filter and I'm going to fold it once to make a half. I'm going to fold it again to make another half and it's almost like a triangle. And I'm going to fold it one more time. I'm going to take my cup and I'm going to put it inside the cup just and let it expand so that the tip of the coffee filter touches the water. I don't know if you can see that, but the tip is touching the water. It's not setting in. It's just barely touching the water. So we're going to let that go. And something's going to happen where the water is going to start going up the coffee filter and it's going to carry that Sharpie and spread it out. It's going to do, I don't want to write on my dry erase board with my markers, my Sharpies, so I'm going to get those out of the way. It's going to do something called chromatography. That's a big science word. Chromatography. Miss Erin did a lot of chromatography in grad school. Chromatography is the separation of colors. There's a separation of something. We're using it for separation of color today. So it's going to separate hopefully black, into all the colors that make up black. If you had green, you would separate into blue and yellow. If you had orange, you might separate into two other colors. So we'll get into that in just a second. So let's talk now about our rainbow. Let's go back to our rainbow. And our rainbow has special colors on it. I have my little papers here. The colors on the rainbow include red, orange, oops, not green, out of order, yellow, what's next, green, what's next, oh, they're out of order again, Miss Erin, blue, and then violet, and I like to call it violet, not purple. A lot of scientists call it violet, so we're going to go with that because it's the ultraviolet spectrum. 
So if you think about your rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, if you put those in order, you think about your rainbow, right? So let's talk about this. I'm going to show you so you can see what I'm doing. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. And if I were to tell you that there were three colors that make up all the other colors, those colors are primary. So we're going to say primary. And that means that they make up all the other colors. So primary colors make up all the other colors. And they are my red, my yellow, let's see, I'll move this way, and my blue. Let me pull blue up here. Red, yellow, and blue. These are our primary colors. When mixed with the, their neighbors on the rainbow, they make up other colors. So let's investigate that a little bit. What do you think would happen if we take our primary colors and we start mixing them up? What I want you to remember while we go through this is I want you to be able to visualize your rainbow. So let's put a picture of a rainbow in our mind that is, as I've laid out, that we know a rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, right? So if we look at our rainbow and we say we have primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and we need to make a whole rainbow. So we need to think about how we would make orange, which is a secondary color. So it's actually the blend of red and yellow. So our two primary colors, red and yellow, go together to make orange. That's how that works. Now, further down our rainbow, what color is next that's not primary is green. So think about this, we need to make our green color now. What two colors are next to green? Yellow primary, blue primary. So when we mix them together, we get green. Now this last one is a tricky one, and I'm, I'm going to tell you that right up. But you have to be able to handle it, and I know my science fans can. So we have our last color of our rainbow, our violet. And violet's neighbor is blue, but you have to go all the way back to the front of the rainbow to get that color that helps make violet, and it's red. So our two primary colors that make violet are blue and red. So let's do an experiment and test this out. Now I'm checking on my little pipe cleaner and I can see it moving. I can see another layer has started to come. So we're going to let that keep working. So I thought it'd be fun to mix some colors. So what you need for this to do along with me, which would be great, is I have six clear cups. I have three different of my pipettes. If you have straws, you can do that. I showed you how to do that before, the straws with the pressure. I have three primary colors of food coloring, and my primary colors are red, blue, and yellow, and I have water, which I keep over here because I don't want to bump it. So I'm going to take my little cups, and I'm going to put a little bit of water in, just a little bit in every cup, So I've got six cups. I kind of have them on a little bit of a tray in a circle, kind of like this. Let's see if you can see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put red in one. That'll be the start of our rainbow. A lot of red. I don't want it to spill, so I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to put blue in one. And I'm going to put yellow. Now, when it first drops in, you might think it looks orangey, but I promise it's yellow. So I've got my red, my blue, and my yellow, right? Kind of swirled them so they mix a little bit. But if I make this into my rainbow, so let's put them in order. Red. Now I'm missing orange, green, and violet. So 
if I were to mix, let's do this right, how can I make an orange color? If I have primary colors only, red, yellow, blue, how can I make orange? So what I need to do is I need to take a squirt or two of yellow. So I've got yellow in there. And now red, I just need a very small amount. So I'm just going to do a little bit. And I'm going to swirl it. And I got orange. Do you guys see that? I got some orange. And you can add to make it as dark or as light as you want. There, there's my orange. So I took yellow and I made orange. And red and I made orange. So now I've got part of my rainbow started. And what comes after yellow on our rainbow? Why it's green. But I don't have green. So I've got to make green. So I have a cup with just water. So again, I'm going to take several squirts of yellow. So I have yellow in my cup now. And what color do I need to add to it to make the green? I need to add that primary blue. So I'm just going to do a little bit of blue. And when you drop it in and swirl it around, did you make green? I'm going to make a little bit darker green. Just another squirt of blue. Play around and see how it changes. So I went from yellow and blue to make the green. So now you're on your way to your rainbow, but we're still missing one more color. So I've got my empty cup. Now this one is the tricky one, remember? It starts at the end, so I've got to make that violet. So I want to take some blue. Two squirts of blue. Now I've got to go back to the beginning to get some of that primary red. So I'm going to take a couple squirts of that primary red and make violet. Swirl it around and I made violet. And you can really see it against a, the white background. So now that I've made my rainbow, get it all in here so you can see it, I've got my rainbow of colors. See my rainbow of colors? I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. So I did that. Yay! We made our colors. So it's a fun way to try different things mixing colors. As long as you know that you have three primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue make up all the other colors of the rainbow. So that's an important fun thing to know. So I'm going to move these out of the way so I don't spill them. And let's get on to our next one. So when we talk about the primary colors, we like to think about things they, fun things we can do with them, right? So I thought it'd be really fun to do a classic experiment called Magic Milk. You can Google it before we do it, but it's a really fun, eye-catching one to do. Now it's a little messy, it can be, so I'm just going to put down a little old blanket, old towel down on here. What you need to do Magic Milk is pretty simple. I'm using a bowl. Now it's a low shallow bowl. You could use even a tray or just something low that you want to have ability for it to spread out. Okay? And I'm going to use milk. I've got my milk over here. Now I have 1% uh, milk here at home, but I also have some almond milk. You're welcome to try anything uh, from skim to whole, vitamin D, every kind of milk you can try. In fact, it would be a cool experiment to do different um, magic milks with different milks because it's the amount of fat in the milk that makes this experiment so cool. So you're going to take your milk and you're going to pour it in your bowl or your tray like that. And what else you need is you need our dear friend, our blue dish soap, right? This is the magic stuff. We've learned this before. When we were doing the video on washing our hands with the salt and pepper, we learned about surface tension and how dish soap breaks the surface tension. Well, it's a little different this time. So what we're doing is we're using the fat in the milk, and we talked about how our dear friend, the soap, breaks up that fat. And when it breaks up the fat, it runs. It runs away from the fat. So it tries to get away, and it really can't. But we're going to cause it make a rainbow on the way. So this you have to be really careful that you want to be on a steady surface so you're not bumping the table. 
We're going to put drops of color in our milk, and then we're going to have the magic happen. So I'm going to let you see what I do, but lastly, I wanted to show you what I did. Is I took a little bit of our blue soap friend, and I put it in one of the plastic cups, and I put a cotton ball in there. Can you see? And the cotton ball, what I use to drop the cotton ball in, is I use a clothespin. And that way I can grab it without getting on my hands, but you can see it's pretty well saturated in that blue soap friend. Now, you can also use cotton swabs with this and put them in instead of the cotton ball. It's however you want to make it work. You could try different ways to see which one was more of a game changer when you see it. So, we've got our milk in there. I'm going to grab my food coloring again. <clears throat> I'm going to tilt my screen so that you can see what's going to happen and make sure you can see it. So, I want my milk to settle. I see how it's kind of moving a little bit. I'm going to let it settle. I'm going to give it a few drops of red. Remember, I only have three colors. I'm going to give it a few drops of yellow. And our third primary color, remember, a few drops of blue. Now, do you see any greens on there? Do you see any orange or violets? I certainly don't. But when I drop my cotton swab in there in the middle, it's going to cause my milk to run. And as it runs the soap, it's going to run away from the soap. And it's going to cause some colors to run through one another. And when we do that, we might get some blends of color. We get, get some mixing like we did with our droppers. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to get my cotton swab that's in the soap and I'm going to drop it in. It's going to be right away, okay? You can leave it in there. And as it works, I can see it's still moving. And I can see some green and some violet coming. It's moving and it's like fireworks. It moved away from it so much, it's really blossoming right there. But that soap caused that it really wanted to move those fats away from the soap. And in the process, it moved the color and took it through the other colors. And you can even try to pick it up and move it over to the edge. And you can see what's happening here. I'm getting some green and some oranges right here mixing and blending. So this is a great visual experiment to do that's really fun that gives us some rainbows inside our milks. You can put your drops of food coloring in different areas and see how you get the best results. I'll move it up here so you can see. And you can continue to try to move it around. And you can see what happens. It's pretty cool to watch and it keeps on moving. Even after you move the soap, it's still settling a little bit. But I didn't put any violet I didn't put any green in there, and I have lots of colors that have mixed together. So let's check on our chromatography coffee filter that we did. Let's see if anything's going on with that. So we pulled out our coffee filter, and because it's black, I'm not sure if it was going to do it or not. Different things do different movement. This one didn't do very much at all. So we're just going to go back to our green marker. Now the best ones that do it are the um, the smelly ones we had when we were kids. Um, I can't remember the name of them right now, but they had smells. Um, and you would put them in and they really just separated and they were great to show. So this is one that I did a while ago. And the cool thing is you could do an art project with this where you could make a butterfly with a, you know, a pipe cleaner in the middle, or you could even use 
my clothespin and you can have some beautiful wings. So have some fun playing with colors, make some rainbows, and think about brighter times and the next time we'll be together. And I look forward to that day. So stay safe and remember, science is everywhere. Bye friends.